In today's video, we are taking a look at aloe vera, extracting it from its natural source, and seeing just what we can do with it. Guys, we are here with our friend Grace. She's gonna be helping us out with today's video, but first, do you wanna tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I'm from North Carolina. I'm currently in school studying meteorology, which is pretty rad considering I'm out here checking out the new thunderstorms in the area. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited to be here with you guys. Awesome, well, we're excited to have you. And today we are exploring aloe vera. This is commonly found in lotions and burn Everything. ointment and yeah, in a lot mm -hmm. of stuff. And today we wanted to take a look at where it's from and then just play around with the raw aloe aloe vera if we can extract it successfully from the plant. Here's the basic idea. We have some aloe vera leaves and we are going to be extracting the aloe from them. What sort of experiments can we do with it? Grace, what can you tell us about aloe vera? You know, it goes back to Egyptian times. Cleopatra was actually buried with aloe and would use it in her beauty regimens to soften her skin and everything. So Before I mean, she was buried, right? Well, before and after, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Well, what's cool is they call it the leaf of immortality. So they were all buried with it. No, you can't do that. Oh, well, I won't be immortal? No. Yeah. Now people do eat <laughs> aloe vera, but they can't eat it whole like this. Why is that? So the outside actually can be consumed in very, very small doses. Very, very small. But the inside is where all the nutrients is. There's actually, <laughs> it's made of like 98% water on the inside, which is pretty hydrating. And it has an abundance of amino acids, nutrients, vitamins, and enzymes that our bodies all need. And there's actually a nice coating of latex. There it is. Yeah, I was going to say, yes. there's a natural latex <laughs> on this that I've heard about that you don't want to eat, guys. It's a very thin yellow section of the leaf. So I cut a very small piece off the top of one, and now I'm just looking at the side. And so is it like in between? Yeah, the, in case the, is the We've gel. got just this gel, and that is the aloe vera that we're talking about. All right, guys. You're positive we can eat this. Cross my heart. <laughs> but do you want to? Mm. Oh. So the flavor is really mild, but as you chew it, it just turns into like snot. <laughs> bitter snot. So bitter. It she is getting serious about this. It doesn't really have much smell just like this stuff. No. Like something about the plant itself yeah. definitely has a smell, but this is just like. Oh no, my hands smell like onion. This one is cool because it looks like it's really full of bubbles. And one of the things that I wanted to try was putting it in the vacuum chamber. So I think Let's this one. Let's just try that piece just like great. that. Yeah. I wanna, just a I'm just chunk. cut a square off. I want to take this slice. So this is the one that I, I was saying I think has lots of air bubbles in it because like these little slices that I took off of it. And oh I yeah, think you a can see like is, the lines. Yeah, I think it's like little microtubules of air. Yeah. So I'm gonna take just this piece and, and then I might try this again after depending on the result and like cut the green parts off and try it again. But we're just gonna put it in our vacuum chamber. Oh, we have some tiny bubbles already showing up. Good. I see them. Oh yeah, we've got several tiny bubbles showing up. Look at the vapor. Ooh. Wow. There's, there's, it's oozing. There's more bigger bubbles on this side. So it hasn't changed like a lot. Mm -hmm. Some bubbling, obviously, but it's not doing anything real crazy. I am very excited for this. Well, I am gonna watch it as I repressurize to see if it shrinks. Whoa. Kind of spun a lot. I think it shrunk like a tiny, it went shrunk in a little bit and down maybe a tiny bit, not much. But yeah, let's try this whole bowl full of aloe. Ew. Whoa. Do something. It already is. Look at all the bubbles. Gross. This is a nightmare on this side. It's just. This is filling. Oh, it's gonna hit. Oh, please hit the roof. Unless it's just Do hit. It. Yes, it hit the or it hit the top. It did. It's on the plexiglass. All right. So we have now filled our vacuum chamber. Little bits of uh, leaking air gets back in, and it uh -huh. oh, oh. like slime oh. trail down. That's delightful. All right, let's it's let like all snail. the air back in. 
It does look like we set a snail free in there. A thousand snails, and they just took over everything. Yeah. It's slime, slimy, slimy everywhere. All right. Oh, That's literally good. everywhere. It's yeah, it's everywhere. Okay, well, I think we should throw this on the stove. Yeah, yes, see if for it sure. Melts. Make some aloe eggs. Do you like your scrambled? Oh! You think you can flip it? <laughs> no. I want you to try. How'd that work out? Nowhere. Yo! Oh! <laughs> Count it. Good enough. We gotta yep. flip. All right, this is on. And I'm just gonna turn to Max real quick. Oh. It's been nine whole seconds. Why? <laughs> Come on. Does it stick to itself? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, good. It's bubbling. Oh, good. We're probably burning it. I really don't think you would taste it once it's blended into something. I think it'd be okay. I wouldn't care about the taste so much as the texture at that point and the smell. You're like, mmm, slimy. Yeah. My favorite texture of food. You know when we uh, boil slime, it smells like rotting vegetation? Yeah. Same smell. This time it is vegetation. Yeah. It makes a little sense. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I wafted that and didn't stick my face in it. Because... I stuck my face in it. <laughs> it's definitely way more it's liquidy. The, yeah, it's, it's less goopy. It lost its goop. We've boiled the slimy out. Uh, we've got some good somewhat extracted slime here. And I just want to see what Slimey. happens if I freeze it. So I've got liquid nitrogen, of course. Oh yeah. So I'm slowly adding stuff in while I stir, which is basically how we make like liquid nitrogen ice cream. Okay, now, so this is opposite from when we just cooked it. The bubbles are actually seeming to get thicker. Oh. So our manager Larry's here. And uh, here, Larry, try that little piece right there. I have to try it? Just that tiny piece. Okay. It's only a tiny, we tiny piece. You know where the piece. hospital is, right? <laughs> Grace, Grace tells me it's okay, that you can eat it. <laughs> That's what the internet said. The internet, <laughs> oh, well, the internet said it. <laughs> the internet said the it was fine. I'm all in. All right, here we go. Maybe we should have warned you it's disgusting. It's very slimy. <laughs> It's like I'm eating like bad sushi almost. Oh, oh no. We said it was like snot. snot. <laughs> like, like, oh, thanks. Well, yeah, I'm okay. glad I didn't hear that. <laughs> right? It would have been like, it tastes like, like, yeah, like, like bad sushi. This is uh, the slime. I just dipped it down to the liquid nitrogen until it's solidified and oh, that's going to melt and get slime everywhere. Oh, why would you? Because I'm not very bright. Okay, that's disgusting and I love it. Hand me a piece. I want to hold it in my hand and see if it like goops up. It does, smell this piece. it does, it does, it goes right back to being slimy. But that also means it's just gonna get rubbed into my hands now. But yep, that's just straight slime now. Fascinating. Unsurprisingly, liquid nitrogen makes it freeze. Well, I didn't leave it in very long. I just waited till it got frozen. So if Let's I just if hold it, it in here, we'll see if it gets, yeah, more so. Getting frozen. Okay, the bubbling sound is stopping, which means it's basically down to the temperature of the liquid nitrogen. Didn't really shatter or crack or no. anything. No, wow. Oh, good. The slime won out. Well, kind of. All right, should we freeze dry it? Let's freeze dry Let's it. Let's freeze dry it. Let's freeze dry it. Here we've got the slice that we put in the vacuum chamber. Then we've got just a puddle of the slime with nothing else in it. We've got a fairly full piece that was not vacuumed. It was not cooked. It was not frozen. It's just basically untouched. A couple thinner slices also untouched. And then Cal is loading up some cooked bits of it as well. It's very hot. So we can have lots of variety. It's gonna make you a bracelet real quick. You're a bad friend. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> no You're one welcome. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry. Do you want that back? Nope. Do you want that, that back? That's all you. That that's all you. <laughs> all right. It's the next day, and we have freeze dried aloe vera. Hmm. Uh, it's kind of interesting to look at. Like all of the translucence is gone. I mean, Everything yes. is now very opaque. White. That one did not really change as much. But what Callie has. Oh, it sounds like styrofoam. It feels like styrofoam. Yeah. Hold that. <laughs> so my hyperhidrosis. It's sticking to me. <laughs> it wants to absorb the moisture in my hands. Interesting. 
This is so airy and light. Like you were so talking airy. about what percent of this is made of water. Like, like and that's all, all gone now. And so we just have this very thin, fine lattice foam structure. It's salty. This was cooked and then freeze dried. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I that didn't know bad, something could be salty and like bitter. Dissolves in your mouth instantly. This one didn't dry all the way. It's like a pillow of dryness around the edges and then all squishy in the middle. I'm gonna peel it apart. Let's see. Still smells awful. This was the pure slime. I'm just gonna get a little bit of water and see if it turns back into slime. Oh, that is very, very disgustingly slimy. I'm just gonna dip this little. You're bubbling. Oh, is that you squeezing it? I'm squeezing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to crunch all the air out, and it just kind of turns back into slimy. Can you crunch that one? Can you snap it? Yes, you can. Sure can. So the pieces dried out, but this big chunk didn't. The leaf got in the way. Yeah, it's so thick that it couldn't get through that. So yeah, these edges here are nice and dry, but the inside's still this big, thick, fluffy pillow. Aloe vera absolutely can be freeze dried as long as you take the leaf skin part off. Mm -hmm. The gel inside, both the cooked version and the uncooked version, the slime without any of the plant fibers in it, all of them freeze dried really well. Like these slices of it went opaque and just you can snap them. So lightweight. It's literally just like a styrofoam. Maybe if you're going like long backpacking trip and you're worried about your hands drying out, you could just take like some little very lightweight pieces of aloe vera, then you just get some yeah. water and just rub them all down. I'm sure that okay. would work as a way to, mm -hmm. to take it with you, but that's sort of a strange need. It's a stretch. Can't see that Did coming up want? too often. <laughs> if there is anything else you think we need to do with it, please let us know. We might want to give it a try. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there and check out more of our videos on the TKOR channel.